All right. Hello. So I'm pretty much making another video about my results from 23andMe and from Ancestry.com. I have made a video, but I really didn't think that this was going to get any views, to be honest. I really didn't. So, Ancestry.com. My ex, um, she had, she did it. And but she did it and we got the results or whatever. They were pretty excited. I'm just like, wow, this is like, wow, I, I, I would like to do this. So that that's pretty much what led me to doing that. Um, and I was excited. And I was also excited about the DNA matches because it's just like I had so many people contacting me like, hey, I think we might be related. We might be cousins or whatever. Now, when I would respond back to them, they would never re respond back to me. And I'm just like, what is going on? Are these people fake or something? So the results were pretty much, it was, they were pretty, pretty good. Because I believe it, to be honest. I, I believe a lot of people just like, nah. I, what? Chinese? No. I can't see it. But me, pretty much, I believe it. And it, it made me feel good about it. So I'm going to show you my results from there. And boom. Alrighty. See all that Africa, 74%. You know, to be honest, well, I knew that it was going to be a high percentage. But I kind of figured that it was going to be, like, higher. But, I mean, it's just a... That's me, to be honest. So, these are the results. This one right here is pretty much kind of interesting. So, um... Great Britain. So, I have went to go get an eye exam because this brother got some bad vision. And she had to do an ultrasound on my eyes. Yes. That's real. That's a real thing. And the back of each eye, they're pretty much shaped differently. Like, one is shaped like, you can pretty much find that shape and a lot of people from Europe and that was really interesting I'm just like wow I can't believe it because when I looked at these results it brought back some memories and I'm just like wow she wasn't even lying when she said that I thought she was lying like I'm always thinking some doctors be just talking just to talk but she was actually telling the truth so, this these are the results from Ancestry.com. Let me try to go slow so you guys can. And I'm going to try to find a way to copy this information for you guys. And I'm going to do just show you guys a quick when it comes to 23andMe. So, this right here is 23andMe. These are the results. The results are in. And once again, I'm going to post those results as well. I just got off of work, so we see that logo. Don't just think that I'm just rocking this shirt to rock it. I mean, it is a nice polo. Um, so, the one thing that I don't like about Ancestry.com is the simple. Is, like they match you with these people who could be possible cousins or whatever and then some of them send you messages and then when you respond they just nobody wants to respond and it, just, it makes me feel as if it's a fake profile and it's pretty much people who works for Ancestry.com send me emails saying hey I think we can be cousins because it's just like it's been over let me see when did this person see me It's been some months, some months, some months. No 
everybody wants to respond. So this person sent this message August 13, 2015. And I responded. And they never replied. So it, it makes me feel some type of way. Now, what led me to get 23 minutes? So I just told you guys that I have bad vision. I have optic nerve atrophy. And I'm going to try to sum all this up. So I was born prematurely. Then I wasn't born with any problems. Well, I was like, you know, really tiny. Um, my mom said they had a stick needle in my heart. Anyways, growing up, I was good. Active. I was able to see 20 20. Um, and then 18 19, had to start wearing glasses. But I was still able to get 20 20. Uh, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 every year, that's when my vision started to deteriorate. And every year when I would go see a specialist, multiple specialists a year, I get the same thing. Your eyes are healthy. I don't understand why you see the way you see. It's just like, you're going to be blind by the time you're 30. And it's just, it's just so much stuff that I pretty much did not want to hear. But they had to give me that information. So, thinking about my two kids, I'm just like, this is some serious stuff. I need to get some type of testing to see if I could pass this one to my kids. Now, both of my daughters, they were born right on date. Me, my mom having like, what, three weeks? I mean, three weeks, three months early. March, April, May, June. Like, yeah. It's like three, three and a half. She had me really early. I wasn't, I guess, supposed to make it, but I'm here. God said that I am going to bring you here because you got some stuff to do. Now, I have yet to figure out what it is, what that is, but I'll figure it out. So, I want to get this genetic test and to see if I can pass this one to my kids. And I thought it was going to be, like, something nice and easy to get, but it wasn't. Like, I had to go through so many people just to even sit down with a panel, like, of people who works for genetics or whatever, for them just to tell me, nope, we can't give you genetic testing because there's no family history of this. And I'm just like, what if it's me who just produced this? Like, it's just, I, but anyways, couldn't get it. So... I was talking to somebody at work about my whole vision thing, and she was sharing her story on how she got glaucoma and how she's the only person in her family with glaucoma. I mean, but she's like 60 some years old, 67 some years old. Um, and she was just like, Have you ever heard of 23 men? I'm just like, No, what is that? She was just like, Well, test all 23 of your chromosomes and all this and all that and all this and all that so i'm just like what she's like it's really expensive i'm just like well, what do you mean expensive i'm thinking of a couple thousand dollars and she was just like it's just expensive so we got home looked it up just like 200 dollars ah, that is expensive but if i can get some results i'm gonna go ahead and do it so i did my research and but you know what I should have like I should have looked at some videos because 23 may have been out for us quite some time. And I guess like earlier they were like pretty much telling people, oh, you're more likely to get cancer. And I guess they had people like panic, paranoid and stuff like that. So then something happened, some type of somebody got sued, I'm not sure. But they had to change it and say, like, you cannot be telling people that they can get cancer or whatever if you don't have, like, the proof. So, but anyways, that was still in my head thinking, like, okay, they will be able to tell me, like, if I go blind maybe or something. But I'm just like, it's, it's just something fun to do, something good to have. So I, I did it. I let the, the weeks pass. And when I got my results, I was 
pretty much shocked. Um, I had a couple of things. I mean, where my ancestors came from, no, I was not shocked about that. Because Ancestry.com pretty much told me. Um, so there's a couple of things that I'm going to post. Now, another thing that, one interesting thing that 23andMe, they, they do like this wellness, not like check or something like that, but they give you these wellness reports. And that was kind of interesting because deep sleep is pretty, pretty much telling me that I'm less likely a deep sleeper. That's correct. Now, I will say, 23 and me, they do ask you a lot of questions. But I cannot recall answering a question like that. But maybe. Maybe I did. But I'm just like, I'm not, I'm not a, a deep sleeper at all. Like, anything can pretty much wake me up. And, but the whole wet, what is that? Like, it's like wet earwax or something like that. I thought that was interesting. It's just like, how did you know that? And then, like, they were talking about my um, hair. So, that right there is pretty interesting because they, they said that when I was a baby, I had a head full of hair. And yes, that is true. When I was a baby, I had a head full of hair. Do you have to? Dude, do you have to do that? Um, so, I'm going to show you guys that. So let me go back to the home page because I highly, like, I doubt that I would be able to put all this information in the description or whatever. So, I'm going to let. We'll have to go back. Be careful with that, okay? Don't break anything. She broke a pair of my glasses. Like, but that's okay. I'm not even going to like stress about it. I know they were like, my glasses are expensive. Well, my prescription is expensive. So, I'm going to turn the camera towards the monitor. That way, you guys. And see some of these results. Okay. Make sure you be careful, baby. I should really download that software. I guess it lets you like record your screen and make a video, like pretty much all at the same time. So, here are the results. So, I want to go just to be as clear as possible. Well, this webcam is a little boot boot. So, I'm going to pretty much click on each one. Huh. I mean, I just wish there was a way that I can just put put that top back on there. What are you playing? Maybe I, you know what? I'm just gonna figure out a way. Cause I personally don't care if you guys look at it like it's just this information that's out there and it's shit. If I don't release it, the government will. No, but on a serious note, it's a lot of people find this stuff like very like they like it. They like seeing stuff like this because it's just interesting. I mean, that whole fly thing and the cameras dropping. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a way to. See if I can like save like a full report and have you guys look at it. I mean, shit, I ain't saying nothing like 
that I wouldn't want you guys to read about. I mean, you guys, maybe this will, if somebody wants to get, do this whole DNA thing, they're just like, These, this is what I need. I want some results like this. And, shit, if I can help you, I will. So, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Um, what I'm going to do is find a way to upload some results or send you over to like somewhere to where these results can be you know, out there for you to read. Alrighty. You guys have a good one. Where's my cat at? Get that to me. That's my young one. You want to say hi? Nope. She's upset because I pretty much she wants to mess with everything that's in the inventory. Say bye. You want to say bye? You upset? Yes, I'm in trouble. Alrighty. Say bye. Have a good one.